Let's do it. We return to the Battle Lord adventure. Let us dive in to Bal Takand and then see if there's enough time to jump on over to Kaiser Castle before the peace offer times out in 48 hours because apparently that happens. One ram, two towers. Um, change my axe. Or my bow. And in we go. Warrior. Oh, sorry to hear you caught the Rona, Scotty Cass. Get well soon, dude. Right, ready. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. We'll sit atop this mound and watch our troops advance. Shield up just in case there's a rogue. Ballista bolt comes my way. I mean, that's that's going to be Sod's law, isn't it? I'm going to get knocked out by a ballista bolt. Go forth my ram. Tower over to the right. Tower over on the left. I think we'll go in with the ram crew. You're <laughs> ready to see yourself lose half your army this time. Save the stick. Yeah. It carries mod. <laughs> hey, dynamic. I came to the stream and voted yes. What do I start? Yeah, you voted an attempt to see if we can save our sister who died the first time we fought this. I don't know if there is a way once you start a campaign to recheck those settings. But doesn't it say there's a way of changing them? I can't. Does anyone know where they are? Yeah. If you got the Rona, take it easy. Lots of fluids, lots of rest. And get well soon. Wow, oh, you lost two stone from it. Damn. Thankfully, when I had it about a month ago, it was like a, an afternoon of feeling a bit grotty, and then I was fine. I'm not going to peace out immediately after this. We're going to see if we can get the other castle back. Kaisha Castle to really complete our, our conquest. Let's advance. Oh, that ballista bolt that came through. Oh. Ballista's seemingly targeting my archers. I'm going to see if I can pick them off a little bit. They didn't seem to be going for the shield wall that's formed up around the ram. Yeah, it's that one. Come on. And again, another hit and he's dead. Oh, come on. A little bit higher, a little bit higher, a little bit higher. No, he's down. Good. Right, what about that one? Yeah, he's down as well. Another one on this one. Take that one out. Wait, don't you dare. They're not ballistas, are they like scorpions, aren't they? Come on. There we go. Down. Right. Gates down. In we go. Shields up. But they're pushing on the walls. Let's get in, lads. Can't, can't fire through this. Let them take down that gate in front. Their archers arrayed behind them, which is rather smart, I think. Looks quite cool. If they were firing off, oh crap, they are firing off volleys at me. I was gonna say that would be um, pretty devastating to just volley into us all. That's how I'd ar arrange my defenders round by the gate. Have a infantry line and then have my troops behind them on some high ground, just firing shot after shot in. Look at all that green there. It's looking good. Oh, they, they're chucking oil down from above. Something keeps dripping through the ceiling. I don't think I'm under any holes. I don't think there are any holes up there, so I'm not sure what is falling through. Oh my god, look, they've just pushed right forward. That's it, come on. Charge! Oh, the defenders are dropping like flies. They've got another group over there firing at the wall.
They're running. Bring them down. What about the group over here? They're running on up. Charge! Die. Every last one of you. Knock them back. The city is ours. We have victory. Well fought, men. Victory! They've retreated to the keep. Good, I get to finally fight it. My sister's not dead. She's just wounded. Good. A lot of my characters are wounded. Ooh, 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 got lucky. There we go. We lost uh, 124 died, 127 wounded. That's really good for a siege, actually. Okay, they just had a load of militia mainly. I mean, they did have, they did have some better troops in there as well. But, um, yeah, that's, that's really, really solid for our force. We only lost 12 from our party directly. Only playthrough you've ever seen with the Kuzets lose to Sturgeons. I'm not used to this. I like it though. Yeah, I know, right? This is what I love about this campaign. Um, right, yeah, we're going into the keep. I won't need the bow. Get the axe out. Axe is out, lads. In we go. Oh, yeah, who's going to come on in? Do we want to risk all the lords? Some of them, yeah, are pretty wounded. Um, let's, let's not risk the lords. Let's take... How many can I take in? 16 as my chosen crew. Really? Uh, where are my heavy axemen? Here we go. All heavy axes. Push to the keep. Uh, guys, I think we got the wrong way. Oh, there's a hole in here. It's a tent. Can I not jump over this bit? No, I can't. God dang it. Come on, man. Chop them to bits. Into the Khan's, be Khan's bedroom. Into his other bedroom. Are we, are we, are we one? We have one! We have one! Yes! This is my room now. Beautiful. Didn't lose anyone. Gained a load of influence as well. Oh boy. Uh, prisoners, prisoners, prisoners. Yoink. Upgrade everybody. To Axeman. Don't. Got everyone. Everyone's wounded there. Two weeks. Uh, give me your horses. The rest can go to XP. See if they've got any other stuff. No. Lovely. Um, sh we will show mercy here as well. Nice. Uh, we will go to the keep. We'll go to the dungeon. Donate prisoners can't because they're already over limit. So we'll wait until we get someone that can take them. We will then leave here straight away. How much are we losing? 12 a day. Increase that a teeny smidge. And see if before this peace times out we can reclaim that castle. I mean, they might take this in that time. Hopefully, they don't. Alvar's coming across to go in there. Siege the castle. Where's the freaking ram? There we go. Vote for the new owner. Make peace with them. Here we go. Yeah, we will. We will accept that once we pushed in. All we need is the ram. Oh boy, if we can get in here though, this is going to be 
bonkers good for us because it will grab us the whole top of their territory. Let's see if we can do this before they force us to peace. I don't know how much time we've got left, though. Come on. let me. Just, we're just going to have to go in with the ram. There's only 56 of them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep, yeah, we got a ram up. Got a save in. Um, let me get my bow back. Lovely. In we go. I missed the user sword. Oh, did I? Sorry about that. Use the sword. Thank you, wrong course. Ah! Prepare for battle. There's only 56 of the buggers. Charge! <laughs> Let's do it. What's the 1.7.2 got in, in its beta, actually? Anything good? Fifty nine of them. Fire through the gap here. Come on. Oh my god, how many times do I have to hit you, mate? Come on. Yes. And the next one. Yeah, beautiful. Every man down that they go is one that they ill afford to replace. Oh, God, I've got the shield wall arrayed here ready. Ram coming on up. That's cleared them off the walls a bit. The ladders. to avoid that. That guy. And again. Got him. I'll get these guys to push forward and put these ladders up. 56 to defend against over like a thousand or so. Yeah, from I would say like, yeah, here we go. They're coming from 1.7 onwards. This game is now perfectly playable and perfectly campaignable. Like the, the biggest, the biggest like struggle in this game was Aster gear against the Kuzates. And this campaign right here shows you that you can you know, Sturgia versus Kuzates successfully. So I would say you can definitely dive in and have a full satisfying campaign now. There's definitely still some features in the room where they could do with improving stuff. A lot of like the kingdom management, the player's own kingdom stuff definitely needs uh, tweaking and improving and just adding in in some cases. But it's definitely a perfectly playable, fun experience now, as is. Get those guys off the catapult. So, chasing them back to the castle already. I'm just going to chill here. Ooh. 
1.7, uh, 1.7.2 has got a lot of armor rebalances, quality of life updates, a skip all button in the arena, better AI manager. Oh, good. Nice. There we go. Grab the castle. Uh, troops. Do you want any of these guys for my army? Veteran bowmen, archers. We're mainly just sticking to keeping loads of Sturgeon units. How many can we take on? Quite a few, actually. We've lost a fair few through this campaign. All right. Actually, I'll take the Khan's Guard as cavalry. That'll be all right. And the rest is prisoners. Yep. Take the war horses. The rest is, comes as experience to my troops. No mercy. Boom. Leave. I mean, these have got to trigger soon. Like, I don't think we can afford... We can take another castle from them. It would be really nice if we could. I'm going to take the higher paying tribute. <laughs> Our troops are pretty battered. Like, it's not going to be able to go on for much longer. Um, going to lose influence. I did get my axe from my twin. Yes, it's in my car's boot. Really get that out so I can waggle it again. Um, yeah, I don't want to miss out on one of these. I don't want that one. I want this one that's higher paying. I think we've in, we've done a lot of damage to them. We've grabbed two castles and a city and obviously reclaimed uh, tile. But should I keep on pushing if this doesn't force a piece? Vote for the new owner. Uh, yeah, it's going to go to Rag and Bad, isn't it? Yeah. Um... Let's abstain. Boost the king. That, that's fine. I don't have a, I don't have an issue with that. Do not have an issue with that at all. Oh. We'll automatically resolve in 26 hours. Here we go. Um, I don't think we can hit that other castle, but maybe we can. Oh, so oh no, the one that came up before is gonna be finished in 26 hours. How many have they got here? 196. Got armies around. No, they just they just throw more defense. I mean we could take them out, to be fair, it would just be a bit bloodier. For which I imagine we'd need towers as well, that's the thing. It's gonna take more than a day, isn't it? We'll probably force peace, but with a good payment. You reckon keep pushing? New owner of the castle. Olek. Everyone says Olek. Oh, no. Oh, that's peace. Oh, god dang it. Oh, it was the first one. It jumped in there ahead of it. Oh, I couldn't choose it anymore. It just took us took straight into that other one. Fine. Yeah, it's a shame we couldn't take the one that paid a bit more. But still, 2,100 tribute per day. We're 6,119 strength. They're at 4,581. Solid. We've got nine towns to their five, 12 castles to their eight. There we go. That's all good. Right, we can disband the army. Um, yeah, there we go. Disband. Off you all go. That'll do. We wouldn't have got it in time. Well, it's time for peace. Yeah. Look at that. That's bonkers. What's our income? Once we start getting that tribute coming through, it should be positive. We've still got plenty in the bank. This is huge, though. Like, <laughs> I still can't get over it. We're doing, we're doing well against the Kuzay. This is ridiculous to be able to do this. Uh, no tournament here. Um, trade. I don't think we've got. I don't think we picked anything up that we don't want. Uh, we're all set up for stuff. I chuck my avalanche axe back in for now. Uh, yeah, horses, 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 horses. Take the war horses. We'll take the regular horse there as well. 
keep our speed nice and high. Um, we should probably heal on up. Let's go to villages and get some horses as well. Uh, I'm just going to throw in a save as well. So these are still... that. Ta that's weird. That one's held under that one's control. This one across the river is under this castle's one, I think. Don't want to recruit troops. I want to... Yeah, buy your horses. That's the, their leader. We got lucky because we managed to capture all of their... Uh, the vast majority of their lords very early on. Yeah, buy a load of war horses. I don't know, the penalty... It, you stop getting a bonus after a while because you have too many horses as such. Don't think I had enough time anyway. Yeah, that's true. I don't I don't think it would have yeah, it would have worked out. Um I mean it's kinda of like where where to now? It's it's basically chill till someone foolishly declares war on us. Which shouldn't be the Kuzates, because they'll need to I mean their strength is gonna jump back up pretty it'll be interesting to see if it ever gets as high as it did before now that we've taken a town from them. I think we should turn on the Western Empire, really. While oh, they're busy. Or uh, all the Batanians and finish them off. We've got no war support for any of these. Valandia's pretty strong, so it would be Batanians that we'd want to go after because we've taken one of their towns as well. But we are we are receiving a really healthy amount of tribute. I'd say it get support for this. I need some more influence, so... I don't think we should, there should be a threat over here. Let's aim to head all the way back to our city at Sion. Jump in any tournaments along the way. Let's see what we can do. But I should be able to... Oh, we've run out of food. Okay. Yeah. Quick. Food, 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 food. Knew there was something we needed. They're up. I'm going to take all the grain. I'm going to take fish, meat, butter, grapes, cheeses. And then I'm going to wait here until I'm at full health and I'm going to do this tournament. Right, tournament time. We've got a horse if we win. Scholar that's left. Come on, take them all out. No, he's been had. Rippers. Oh, no, my wife won the tournament, so I still get the horse. Mwah! Love the wife. Right, head back to Sion. Hey, Thoth Pierre, how you doing? Pub's doing good, yeah. He's, uh, we're having our eighth month's sleep regression right now, so that's fun. But other than that, all good. All good. Paid actor. Who's a paid actor? Hey, Smithy. How you doing? Ah. Mm. Born on Omor. Let's, uh... 
Oh, my surgeon's here. Oh, we had him out with his own party, didn't we? Mm-hmm. There we go. We'll send him out from here. Uh, is my sister just... She's just in my army, isn't she? Yeah. I, I don't quite follow what you're saying, uh, Guardian. Aid actor, start cam, summon lords. Summon lords, no peace. We, 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 there's no point summoning an army. We're not at war with anyone. I should have been stopping actually at places and getting, getting troops as I came through. Bites. These bites make me fight better. Is that a speed indicator over the encounters? Encounters? How to win? Have the most people? Yeah, most people from your own uh, party in the tournament. Or just have your wife be an absolute beast in the game. Uh oh. Wifey. Oh, charging on in. Not cool. No, oh, I was trying to launch off a shot again. No. God, I've not done well. It's a good thing we're not doing a spicy challenge today, isn't it? Otherwise, rip my anus. That's not gone well for him, has it? Uh, we'll stop off over here. We'll probably go to Valcheg as well. There's a tournament here as well. Third time's the charm. Let's find out in the morning. It's tournament time, baby. Oh, we get a we get a camel if we win. Don't cock it up, don't cock it up. Come on. Thanks, sacrificial dude that made that winnable. my wife to death. Boom. Hey, Kelper. How's it in the Falklands? Oh, it's an axe throwing competition. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've only could have been... down. My last round was family feud. Axe his wife and his brother, yeah. <laughs> Came out on top. It's all good. It's all good. Happy days. Happy days. Right. Need to do one last little recruitment and we'll be back up at full strength for our army. Stop off at this fish fishing village. Nice. Oh, we're one shy. 
go to that village, and then we'll head on over. Camel in the north. Mm, go for one of those veterans. All right, yeah, stop off at the castle, then stop off at the city. Castle. How are we doing? Loyalty's good. You've got gardens going on. We'll chuck some more money in here to help you out. Yeah, working on gardens, then you're working on. Uh, what's that symbol? Coal collector. Huh? Yeah, we don't get much from tax from this one. Prosperity's so low. You've got your own housing, increase that one prosperity. She is. Pretty sure she's battalion. Yeah, she's battalion, so she's helping out that culture. Owner culture. Governor's culture plus one. It's increased while I'm there, actually. Loyalty drift. Yeah, slowly going through there. They are starving, though. They've not got enough food. Uh-oh. Yeah, so we need to get that food production done. They're working on right now. Um, Settlement loyalty. Not much else I can do until that's done. That's why there's so low tax from that one. See, on, on, let's go over there. Oh, awesome, Cub Warrior. You got much planned? I assume fairly, fairly large festivities? Take like a proper North. What am I saying in a, in a Northman? King of the New North. Right, loyalty's increasing. It's because we're here with Parade, but it was getting a bit low. Food is fine. Got the workshops. Let's throw that in there as well. That's nearly done. Bonus to construction. Prosperity's nice and high. We've got the aqueduct. Have we coming in? Festival in games. Yeah. Could be a bonus from governor's culture. Cause she's... She's of the right... Um, I can see it all from here, can't I? Uh, what about Fintolog? So we should be able to see loyalty. Go by 0 0.08. Loyalty drift. So loyalty drift. Is that just a permanent thing in the background or will it eventually like lose its connection? It's kind of cultural connection to the Batanians. Like is that loyalty drift building up to something or is it just a constant loyalty drift in the background? Owner's owner's culture minus three. So I'm assuming yeah, it should do eventually, right? So you should lose the owner culture penalty. Uh, yeah, manage town. You're all set up here. I just need to let, let things keep on going, really. Uh, there is a tournament here. Let's get our asses handed to us in a two-handed tournament. No. Oh. Didn't realize it was a it was a four four way. He's down. We're through to the next round anyway. Yeah, we win. Team Red. Seriously, my teammate. Yes! Instantly got taken out. I managed to survive, just. Got ya. Nice. Yeah, who needs to block when you can just dodge away? Oh, sword and shield. That's that's uncom uncommon for Batanians. <laughs> nice work, mate. 
Oh, it's an axe off. Master the roly poly. Here we go. Beautiful. Just, just, uh, I wonder, can I can I push for war? What have we got to upgrade? Warrior. I've got some prisoners still, haven't I? Actually, I should go and leave. Let me go deposit them over in Varcheg, and let's have a little look at our diplomacy. No chance of starting war with them. No chance of starting war with because. Ooh, look, oh, look at our strength now that it's recovered. Our armies as well. 7,528. It's the highest we've ever had it. Kuzay have restored to 6,123. It'll be interesting to see if it will go any higher or whether that's now their new ceiling. Western Empire have now made peace with the um, Southern Empire. We could declare war on them. There's a 100% support chance. I just don't have enough influence to, to press it right now. 44% chance of or support of proposing war against the Britannians because they're at war with both Valandia and the Northern Empire. So they're getting truly spanked. Southern Empire, no support. Azare, no support. Well, Azare are real strong. Valandia, no. So it, it'd be interesting to see if somebody else pushes the war with the Western Empire because we are paying them tribute. We don't necessarily want to lose that one. So yeah, Western Empire, if we could take a chunk out of them, we could get... That's Northern Empire. We would have to push down here. We could focus on trying to go for Rote carve up like all of this round here. Rote, Lagata, Tysia. Meanwhile, they're pushing up on the Batanians. Uh, although, no, it'd be the Vlandians, won't it? See, so, are they the Batanians took Calais Castle, did they in the end? Are they back from back from them? Azare are looking alright. Nice and strong. They've got all that southern bit to themselves. No one's pressing them. Putting any pressure on them. Southern... Is that the Western Empire? No, it's the Northern Empire took the Southern Empire's cap... Is that the Southern Empire's capital? Damn. Northern... Yeah, Northern Empire's actually doing pretty well for once. But they're not dead. What was I coming over here for? Oh, no. It wasn't to do the tournament, actually. It was to go to the keep. Go to the dungeon. Donate prisoners. But now, as we're here, why not? Many, because if we win, we get five influence straight up. Just a nice, easy way of gaining some. Ooh, I'm on a horse. Da, 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 da. Excuse me, mate. Would you come back? Oh, days. Been a while. And I'm feeling rusty. My wife's trying to clobber me again. Abuse, I say. Abuse. Nobody knocks my wife out apart from me. Wait. Things you shouldn't say on the internet. Well, out of context things. Are we coming along with the energy prices? Uh, my energy bill is up six hundred pounds a year from what it was um, last quarter or last last price cap, I should say. So yeah, not 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 great. Uh, it's, it's a pretty bad time actually to be moving to a bigger house. So I'm really going to be breaking it when I see what the new energy bill is for the new house. That means our energy bill will be about 1,800 a year if we were staying at this two bed house, the gas and electric. So I imagine it's going to be at least 3,000 for the four bed that we're moving to. Although we'll try and minimize the amount of heating we do. And we do have solar panels on the new house. Um, that will do our hot water. We're in a new build now. So this one's been fairly efficient. 
it'll be interesting to see if the new one is more efficient or not. If there's been much change really in efficiency in five years, to be honest. Um, but maybe bigger house just circulates air a little bit better. Um, I don't think we'll use too much more. I mean, I'm expecting our energy bills to have gone up a little bit anyway, because obviously we've gone from two of us to three of us with Cub Heart. Uh, I should just find a big old pack of looters to just farm up a load of uh, influence. Smashing their faces in. Um, it's heaven, though. Eighteen's a little bit. Nineteen's a little bit. There's normally some pretty large groups over here, actually. We'll go that away. Um, but yeah, my main my main issue at the right at the moment is I don't know what's what's for the best in terms of what we do when we move from here. Whether I, whether I take my current energy provider over to the new house, or because it's a new build, that'll be set on a on a new variable tariff with another company um so i basically need to look at our existing variable tariff that we're on and then i think it's eon the new house is going to be with and just see how their variable rate compares because otherwise I'd, I'd want to move our current provider british gas over with us statements yeah there there's sort of mumblings that he might do something but it seems unlikely that he do something uh particularly helpful but we'll see but all the fix rates at the moment are well higher than variable for us at least thanks vincent all right right now the the gamble is do you fix it because at the moment most fixed rates are higher than the variable the gamble right now is do you fix it at a higher rate and brace yourself and hopefully when there's when there's the next price cap in october hope that it doesn't that it goes above well at least for your benefit that it goes above your fixed rate Or you stick with variable and hope it doesn't go up as much. Actually, it'll all be the same. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, basically, I'm just going to see if there's any if there's any benefit to me sticking with British Gas, or if if it's a new build, maybe they have a new, then maybe they'll put me on a newer tariff with the with the new one and find out if that's worth doing. But because it's not finished and built yet, it's not like I can actively compare. So I've probably got to wait to slightly nearer the time. But the longer I wait, the less chance I have of taking my current energy provider over. So it's like, eh. I'm probably going to get shafted either way, basically. It's not going to be fun. Or we're taking them as prisoners. Actually, no, undo that. I don't want to take any of their stuff. I'll take their fish and... Oh, no the fish and the grain and that's it rest turns into xp what's this declare war on the western empire i thought this might have happened or was might be happening uh i'm gonna stay out of it but yeah let it let it go through right we declare war on the western empire nice we are stronger than they are i think we're pretty much the strongest faction in the game right now um they're climbing up more than i was hoping it's probably because they got all their lords free i was hoping a city losing a city would make a bigger impact um we are the strongest faction, though, in terms of strength. Where that actually means much or not, we will wait and see. Right, let's uh, let's do this thing. So, Western Empire. Yeah, we're going to want to probably break them in the field a little bit. We can then stash our spoils of war at my city, prisoners-wise. Um... I guess probably go for Lagetta first and the surrounding. Secure all of this first and then see if we can sweep across to Rote. 
they're probably going to go for that castle early on. So let's head on over. I don't have a huge amount of influence. Yeah, there's going to be lots of armies created. So I might want to gobble some people up before all the best ones get taken. I've got to remember about cohesion, though. How much strength that's going to give me? Three, four, five. That'll be about 600 with that. Yeah, let's go with that for now. I'm still gaining some every every turn. So, yeah, we'll, we'll head to that bridge and gather up there. She's got a tournament. Don't need to worry about that. We're going to a point as well. Oh, gathering on up. How far away are these guys? Three days, five hours. Two days, 12 hours. Three days. One day, nine hours. Six hours. Nearby. Oh, wow. That's a nice big army for only 16 influence as well. I'm going to pass though just because I need a fair bit to keep the cohesion up if we don't do the largest force in the world. Sieging Legetta. So they're going straight for it. That one's under siege. Okay, let's see if we can do anything here. See how strong their army is. We're going to go straight for the jugular. That's a nice one. Ooh, that, that. Well, we know where their armies are. I think I could pull these guys in. We can wait for them to press the siege and then dive on it. Ooh, no, no. Hang on. Oh, you wallies. Oh, the surgeon went in there, didn't he? You, if I go in now, you don't have enough. I'm going to let them bash each other about a bit. And I might be able to pick them off afterwards. Oh, they came out to dive on in. Those guys are going in. Wait until they're down a bit more. There we go, they're running. Right, now we go in. Death and glory when it's a sure thing. Charge. Where's the best place to get RAM? Um, if you've got any local stores in Falklands to get it. If not, um, I don't think Overclock is shipped to the Falklands. Might be worth checking them. Um, if not, I'd probably say if you can get Amazon deliveries. Well, I understand. Though, doesn't it doesn't it take quite a while to get stuff out to the um, the Falklands? Don't you have to like almost schedule it on like a two to three month basis when the next kind of cargo ship's coming in. I might be completely wrong. But like someone told me this a while back. I don't know if that's correct or not. Uh, my troops are back here. Advance. Archers. Um, let's have you guys on delegate command. Horse archers. Leave some riders down. BFPO numbers. What? What is a BFPO? I read it on something else the other day, and it's like, what is that? That's the Lord that was leading the army to attack. We're taking him down. Get axed. British Forces Post Office. Oh, cool.
for the island. Going off all the infantry, we've annihilated their cavalry. Oh, that was big. No, oh, I thought he was going to spear me off there. Yeah, burger. Someone kill this guy. I will watch you until you die, mate. Someone kill him. Thirty points, whoever does. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Come on. He's right in the middle of it. Someone take him out. Take him out. Yes. Well done to you. You get a biscuit, mate. Well done. Yeah, this is just the base game. I'm not using any specific mods or anything like that. They have added in um, like the NVIDIA ray tracing and DLSS stuff. That made quite a substantial difference to the graphics and stuff. Oh, they're all just piling on in, aren't they? Take some losses to our party now. Absolute bloody melee. There's a very red kill fee. Yeah, we're taking we're taking a good good few chunks out of our force right now. Nah, we, we've got a moat. Overwhelming numbers. My infantry's poured on in now. It takes like three to four months minimum to ship here. But it picks up cargo in Uruguay and brings it every six weeks. Oof. I guess it would be probably like... I don't know. Like how, how expensive is the shipping? Would it be almost cheaper to like fly somewhere, buy it locally and then fly back with it? Must be influence out of that, though. You're my prisoner. You're my prisoner. Yes. I can't take that many prisoners on. Let me just upgrade you guys. Done. Thanks for all. It'll give me the highest value ones. What you guys have been saying. Uh, ooh, that's, that is some real nice armor. That's better than what I've currently got. Fancy. Take that actually to sell. I'll take your Imperial Chargers. Alfreys as well. And any food and snacks that you've got. The rest can be XP. 2, 3k, return to 3k. Oof. Yeah, maybe not. God, it's crazy expensive. Uh, I can level up one-handed. Get close to tradition. If shoots gain plus two XP daily. Or core core. In between you and your party gain additional ten percent of total XP after battles. That's pretty good. Uh bow, 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 bow. Strong bows. Increases damage with bow by eight percent. Or train it every day the party member with the lowest bow skill gains experience in the bow. Uh no, strong bows. Wrong booze. Uh, what do I want to focus on next? Uh, smithing? Yeah, increase my learning rate there, please. Do some more at some point. Uh, who else had a point available? Medicine. Best medicine. High morale increases healing rate by 15%. Increased relationship with one random notable over 50, age 50 while in town. Or good lodging. Resting in settlements increases heal rate by 20%. Resting in settlements, typically we tend to have a good high morale rate. Let's let's go for best medicine. Um, and... Oh wait, he's he's not in my party anyway. That's fine. Uh, yeah, but increase your rate on that, mate. Good. Yeah, Valandian crossbows are really satisfying. So, how much of a smash has that been to the old, uh... Oh, Western Empire, they just dropped some serious points. 
So did we a little bit, but they are oh, it's because so many of them just got captured. Oh my days. Yeah, okay. Uh whack them into that castle. Oh wow. They might even be full actually. Uh the rest of them I'll yeah, actually donate everything. That'll give us a nice bit of influence. Boom. <laughs> Don't let that castle fall. That's why they're super weakened. They've lost a good chunk of their lead of their fighters. Right, let's go hit the capital then. Uh, you say capital. It's not the capital, but let's go hit a city of theirs. Uh, I can probably pull in a load of them. Yep, yeah, pull in you now. Um, 16 for 162. Look at the number of men, actually. Uh, 10. Yeah, it'll cost me 40. Yeah, get you as well. Boom. Pull them all in. Yeah, Britannian Fane Archers are bonkers good. I think high morale is above 75. Okay. They've only got 369 defenders. Sweet. I don't even care if I don't get any of these. Any of these supplements, I should say. I think with this, we don't need to worry about Trebs to bring it down. We can just siege tower it. Yeah. Get these guys in. Thousand versus, and we'll wait till both siege towers are done, and then we will we'll go on in. I'm just going to change my axe for my bow. Go, okay, got an army of one thousand two hundred. Right, lead the assault. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Also deploy everybody. Ready. Yeah. Yeah. Send the men forward. This is barricade. them to advance. Use the train as cover. It's looking good so far. Uh, the feathers, yeah, the horse got like a feathered plume. Pretty cool. I'm not close enough to uh, shoot them. Avoid those ballista bolts if I can. We'll probably do this season then we'll switch on over to Elden Ring the rest of the stream as planned. Oop, load of them there. Oh, yuck. We can flank on around them a bit. Oof, that sounded painful. What's the line that that siege tower is taking? It's coming around this way and then up, I think. I think I can shoot anyone from here. A little bit too low. No. Yeah, a couple warrior. Thanks for dropping by. Should be able to hit me here. I should be able to just pop out from this rock and shoot a few of them on the wall. One right up there. I don't know if I'll be able to get him. Come on. Right a bit. Seen me. He's trying to get me now. There we go. Got a hit on him. One more shot. Come on. Ah, oh, come a little bit higher. Yes, there's the kill. Fortunate to have an angle on the uh, 
Ballista. I say Ballista, it's Scorpion, isn't it? Ah. Oh, Tau's really flanking hard. What are we looking at in terms of losses? 64 dead, 40 wounded so far on just the approach. Just getting everything into position. What the heck? If I can... Oh, no, I was like, oh, they can't see me in the brush here. Let me pop on up and pick these guys off the walls. It would be cool if they added a mechanic like that where you get a certain amount of cover and potential to be hidden in tall grass and stuff like that. Make it difficult for you to see where shots are coming from. Come on, take out that archer. Oh, crap. Shield up. They got that tower in position. We're going we're gonna to storm up here and try and bring him down. Let's go. Go, 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 boys. Way too high. That's a kill. That's a kill. All right, that's cleared that off. Come on. Come on, you lot. Up the ladders. We don't mess around anymore. Come on. There's multiple ladders. Everybody start coming on up. I know you're British because you're forming a nice queue. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Push them back. Push them back, men. I'm just going to stay here and... Come on. Up the tower. Come on. Come on. I'll spur you on from up here. I'll give you a rallying speech about how we should charge into almost certain death. Go on. Come on, next one. Faster on the ladder climb. I'll shoot some for you as well. Oh, come on. There we go. Get some lads. Oh, why did you have to run in front of me like that, mate? There's still a lot of them in front, actually. I was like, I'm going to dive on in. No, I'm not. Cream down. No, now we've got some... Oh, they've got second secondary defenders back there. On that wall, firing across. Nice. Into the tower, into the tower. Ah! Up the tower, up the tower, up the tower. please he said oh boy clear him off the wall oh, I'm out of ammo you want some ammo yes yeah, so it's, it's these guys on that secondary wall back there that's cool nice one to take Oh, boy. Thought about the weather in chat. It's definitely a British stream when you know you look... Don't drop into your chat after a few minutes of looking away and people are talking about the weather. Uh, it's quite nice and sunny here, actually, on the south coast. Arrows are now full. How many left? It's just three of them. The city is ours. All the rest charge in. We've taken it. Oh, 
Well fought, everybody. 236 dead, 197 wounded. Certainty of death, small chance of success. What are we waiting for? Axeman, yep, 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 yep. Boom. Get those guys, that's all fine. Any food? Narp. Narp. Uh, show mercy. Show mercy? Show mercy. I could ask for this one to be given to me, probably, but I think I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have a collection of settlements all close together. That That's my hope. So seeing as I've got Sion on, when we eventually do go back to war with Britannians, I'll try and take uh, Muranath and ask for that one as well. Then they'll be close together, easy to defend. Um, right. Yeah, we should go in, wait for some time until we're ready to move again, vote for the new owner. Like, it's eventually going to come over to me. Put, put some, I mean, I could spend enough influence and nearly get it. It'd be Olex outweighing me here, so I'm going to stay out of it. But now that he's got it, eventually, once we start conquering enough, all the all the other lords that, you know, of the realm will start getting stuff and then I'll be able to push my own claim forward for whatever I want. So we'll save that for when we go to war with Britannians. In fact, let me just double check that they're not planning on proposing a war there. No, God, they're getting absolutely spanked by the Valandians. What we need, actually, is for the Valandians and Britannians to peace out and then on the cusp of that, before they get a chance to recover, dive on in. Just because we don't want to also be fighting against the, Val the Valandians for the Britannian territory. Assuming we've got no support for war anywhere. We've got to keep an eye there. If we go dip too low here, the Kuzay might go. Ooh, they look tasty. Let's go after them. Um, just bother with ladders. I mean, ladders, ladders and a ram are sometimes quicker. Yeah, uh, I like to go for the towers because you do tend to get less losses with that. The, I mean, the ultimate siege mechanic is to go for uh or, or most effective way of doing it is to go for oh, exceeded the limit is to go for trebs hide them all in reserve then drop them all out and they'll shred enemy walls and then you can just charge in that way but it depends if you've got enough time and enough influence and everything else um i prefer to wait here till we're at full strength but we are losing cohesion i'll wait until the next morning probably finish things up with that ornament and then we'll march on out of here. Get to 100% if we can. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bing. There we go. Stop. Right. Oh, my wife is with child. Good. Let's just see. Are they sieging anything of ours? Not that I can see. Let's see. Where are the other armies of the realm going? They're, uh, we're patrolling around. They're going to Varcheg. Okay. Anyone else nearby that I can pull in? We're 12 hours away. It cost 11. You cost 17. You cost 17. We'll take you and that will pretty much restore us. We could ask for Godin to come to us for 26. Still be able to manage that. Let's let's ask all of that and then we will go hit that castle, I think, just to consolidate our ground here. We could either then go south to Ortizia and Garantor Castle or we push east and kind of cut off along here and leave these guys in the south. Um, but we'll decide that next time. We'll just wrap things up for Bannerlord's Day with a... Is there not a tournament on? It says there's a tournament, but apparently there isn't. Okay. Um, well, in that case, let's just wait a second. Jump back in. Arena? No? Okay. In that case, we'll wrap things up here. And we'll decide whether we're going... Well, no, we're going to go to that castle, I think. Let's, let's just head over to that castle and set ourselves up. We'll hit that castle, and then it's whether we go south or whether we go east. That is the uh, the main thing. How many defenders have they got there? A few. Okay, enough for now. They've just taken them out, I think. 327 defenders at this castle. We want to make these all quick. Quick strikes. Quick quick sieges. Even if it does come at the cost of troops. And boost that again. Let's just do that. Get ourselves set up. I don't think they've got the strength to challenge us here. See when these other armies show up. 
Ram's getting built now. How long do you get here? 14 hours. Two days, 12 hours. Oh, crap. They just brought their army in. If I try to get away, we'll lose 137 soldiers. Wait too long. I didn't even see that army. I was just looking. I was like, ah, it's fine. Or we try and fight them. Well, we'll decide that next time. Until then, if you're watching on YouTube, hope you've enjoyed. Take care. And ciao for now.